Welcome to an update video regarding Common Sense Machine AI platform. So, to highlight the changes, I'm gonna make use of some concept chairs that I created for another video. For example, like this one, I'm gonna have this downloaded. And I will upload the model. As we can see, I have a similar chair over here uploaded, which is currently in training preview. If I will move my mouse over that tile, we're going to see that the 3D model has not been generated yet. Now, within the upload, we have some changes. We can now add five images at a time, but keep in mind that those five will not be for the same 3D model. They will each be treated as individually. And we can also change the model version. You need to specify this before you upload the image because afterwards this will no longer be available. So I will choose model version 1.1 for this. Afterwards, if I will press on upload image, I will see that within the newly changed platform, we can no longer add another image to the platform until we have the one working on finish. So I still have this chair, which is currently in training preview. Therefore, I cannot upload another one. This is because I'm also using the default account, which is free. So some other changes, I will go over here to the showcase and to show some of the changes, I'm going to highlight some of the community showcase models, such as this gorilla playing basketball we see this was also created using model version 1.1 and the back of the model looks pretty good even though the texture is off but regarding let's say the the mesh and the geometry the model is quite well defined there are some other models that make use of model version 1.0 such as this this sculpture this bust sculpture as we can see there are some problems with the lighting of the scene so the photo was quite clear and there were no shadows over here but the 3d model created by the platform has a lot of shadows mainly in the eyes area now over here you're gonna find something like this that will make use of the model version 1.2 so keep in mind that they are also working on a new model version for this. And uh, for this reference model, we can see that the model is pretty good. Only the fact that um, it has an additional ear over here. Otherwise, regarding the back of the jeans jacket and so on, the model is quite well detailed. Now, they also added some changes over here to the, let's say, um, active plans. So I have this active plan, uh, which is a tinkerer. We can go over here to the change plans. And we're gonna see that the tinkerer will be the free one, which makes use of the sl slower public server. So, and also only baseline 3D model quality. I'm pretty sure that the ship model was created using uh, the Pro 3D model quality over here that is available for uh, the Maker and Creative Pro plans. The main difference between those two is that uh, you're going to receive additional credits, as we can see over here. So 100 credits for the Maker against 400 for the Creative uh, Pro. But keep in mind that this is only equal to 10 refined models, so you can upload multiple images and um, in order to get that refined model you're gonna have to pay those 10 credits okay if you're gonna go over here how credit works so it's like this one credit in order to get the preview and additional nine credits in order to obtain that pro model okay so i hope that you find this video useful i will position another video similar to this one over here to the left and to the right subscribe button thanks for watching